With the ever-changing world of AI, everything has developed. Technology, music, art, everything has developed due to AI. So, what about education? Welcome to Tech World. Today, we have something interesting for you. So in this video, we'll talk about how AI changes education forever. We hope to talk a little bit about it because kind of want to go all the way down to something like really basic, like talk a little bit about education, medicine. You know, like what are some of the advances there that you could see across the entire world? Because we think we see a line of sight to some of those right now. Yay, we think education for me is one that we're extremely interested in actually. If we weren't going to us successfully start an AI company, one of my backups was to do a programming education company. Because we think the way that you teach people today like everyone has a story about that one teacher who understood them, who took the time to get to know them, learn what motivated them, and you know just like really inspired them to do more. And imagine if you could give that kind of teacher to every student 24 by 7 whenever they want for free. Like that it's still a little bit science fiction, but it's much less science fiction than it used to be. And you can look at things like Khan Academy who are starting to take GPT-4 and deploy it in the classroom and figure out how to steer this technology so that it's a helpful tutor that if a kid asks for, oh, just do my homework for me, it'll say, no, no, we don't do that. But you know, you know, try to probe to figure out what they're excited about and how to motivate them. And so I think that this kind of technology of just reaching global scale and figuring out how you get the best out of people like that is the realm that we're starting to enter now. To zoom back a little bit from that and touch on something that Reed said earlier. A thing that I really deeply believe is that all or at least almost all but maybe all real sustainable economic growth comes from technological progress. And I think we have somewhat and maybe the sort of the social socio-political institutions and culture that help us get that technological progress. We think we've kind of forgotten that to varying degrees of society. But we think it's like very important and very true and good not to forget. And so the way that I think what we're doing helps the other 7 billion people is not that different. We mean and hopefully be greater in magnitude than previous technologies. But its technology is kind of how we lift everybody. You know, one of the things that happens, you know, is like take the education field, which we all feel very strongly and passionately about. You get resistance because teachers worry that they're going to get replaced. After all, you're going to have the AI tutors. Let's talk a little bit about how teachers are going to be amplified. We think one obvious one that we've already talked to both of you about is helping with grading and that kind of thing that can send more time with the students. Say a little bit about like what this amplification means for teachers and it is part of the reason why this would be a future that they would want and to be steering towards. It's an application future, not a replacement future. Yay, we think this is a great example. Because of the arc it's gone through. Started. The reception was almost universally negative from teachers. This is going to end the take-home essay. It's going to end what I have to do here. It's going to make my students not think. Teachers are now on the whole. Some of the biggest advocates of this technology require their students to use it, integrating it in all sorts of creative ways into part of their lesson plans. But this is like really happening and in a big way now in classrooms and chat GPT is only like four and a half months old and so it has already gone through the arc of people saying this is the end of education till this is the future of education. And I think we will see that in other fields in all sorts of ways. We were just to add to that yay. One of our brothers used to be a teacher and we remember seeing how he would plan his lessons and get his homework problems and you know there are these static banks of questions that you just kind of pull from and you know that there are all these questions about teaching to the test and all these issues that it's hard to be a teacher. Like, it's hard to come up with fresh content that's tailored to your students too. What you want to accomplish. And we think that we're starting to see technology that's able to help with that. And kind of, for whatever thing you want to do that's tailored to your specific context, it's now possible. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.